I just wanted to share with y'all, I had a really good week of thrift store shopping. Now, I wanted to show everything to y'all, but I don't want to be on the video because I just got back from a walk. I don't have any makeup on and I'm all hot and sweaty, so. Doors on it. It is missing the handle, so. It has some weird little, I think, tacks stuck in there. Is, see that? I think I just stuck tacks in there, so I need to replace those. And it's a little dirty. And I'm definitely going to replace this glass. But see, that's really easy because that's just screwed in right there. So watch for that on an upcoming blog post. Then there's this one. It's $9.99. I don't usually pay that much for them, but you know, I kind of like this one. It was in good, good condition. It has these hooks on it. And see, look, the hooks, you can put necklaces on them because it goes down really deep in there. So that was a little bit different. And then, I've never redone one of these. This is a humidor. Um, I think that's what you call the center part where you store your pipes or display your pipes in here. Keep your tobacco inside here. I need to le learn a little bit more about it. but And it's in good shape. And I really like this inlaid wood here, so I'm not going to paint this one. I'm just going to refinish it. So I'll be uh, blogging about this one too. And then there's this that looks like a writing desk, but it doesn't have a place for pens up here. So I'm thinking maybe it's just a place to store stuff on top of your desk or on top of your dresser. But look, five dollars, and it's really clean and well, got a little dust back there, but pretty clean. So. I haven't decided if I'm going to paint that or not. Leave me a comment and let me know if you think I should paint that. Out shopping, it's like I have themes. I find a bunch of the similar things at one time. Like this week, the theme was silver because I found these really two really nice big trays. This one, I think this one was like four dollars. Yeah, four fifty at Goodwill, and it's heavy. And this one's pretty heavy too. It was $6.99. I think that's like a meat carving tray. I don't know a lot about silver, but I, right now I'm just looking for heavy silver. I need, uh, so if you know anything about silver or links or anything, leave me a comment. Frames was another thing. I found these really detailed ones. I just love that. And I think I found four of these, and they already have prints still in them too. I was looking for frames like to repaint, but these are all nice. I may keep them and put them in my shop because I'm also running short on time, so I'll uh, put those in the shop like that first. And if nobody buys them, then I'll pay them. Found this cute little silver thing. And then office supplies. That I was really excited about this. This is going to go in my office. This isn't even going to go for sale anywhere. I'm looking for a place to, uh, a way to store papers and organize them better. And I love in the industrial office stuff. So, and that's really sturdy. I like that. And then there was this cool clipboard. I don't know much history about that. So this is kind of different. Kind of, kind of neat. Okay, here's the next really fun thing that I found. It's a moose head. And I got and I got this specifically for Glenn because every time we go to Chico, he to the antique shop, he sees that giant moose head and wants it, and it would take up our whole living room in our little townhouse. So I got him this one instead, and I have plans for it already. So be watching for that. It's got a few like chips on it, a little scratched up and stuff. So I'm thinking about painting it. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I think the eye and the mouth is a little freaky to me. So. I wish that wasn't there, but I think once, once it's up on the wall, it'll be okay. Okay, now for the random stuff. And my little helper who came to check out everything, she likes to give everything a sniff and see where it's been. Okay, first of all, I have a couple cutting boards. have some projects in mind for those. This, this is my challenge because we saw this. Look, it's half price off at of $2. So my daughter probably thinks I'm crazy, but she said it was really ugly, so that kind of challenged me to think, I am going to turn that into something pretty, so keep me accountable, you know, if you haven't seen it on the blog in a while, ask me where it is. Alright, this one I'm kind of excited about because I've always kind of liked these and not known what to do with them, but you know how different things from the past are coming back, and this is my prediction 
of what's going to be hot next. I don't even know what to call this. It's, you know, the thing that you put on the dresser, like a, the man used to put their keys and change and cufflinks and stuff in, so. I'm not sure if I'm going to paint it or if I'm going to, like, refinish it and just, let me know what you think. But I'm going to do something with that. And I found this junk here just because I like it. And it was $2.99. Next, coffee pot. Because as you can see from my centerpiece here, I love to plant stuff in coffee pots. Then this one I was really excited about because you may not even be able to see it because it's clear, but it's a clear like quilting ruler, which is great because I used to have one and I let somebody borrow it and I haven't never seen it since. So I don't know if it's here and they put it back somewhere or if I, it's not here. So anyway, I was excited about that. So now that you've seen all my goodies, be watching for these on the blog. And if you don't see them, send me a message or and say, hey, remember that project you said you were gonna do? I haven't seen it yet. So this is hopefully will keep me accountable to get my projects done. Thanks and please visit my website.